Hey everyone, today's topic of choice is soda blasting. So I've got lots of experience with sand blasting with the traditional cabinet, but I've never used a small gravity fed blaster like this. I filled it up with uh, baking soda. I've got an old curve housing here. I believe it's off a, a cage, I'm not exactly sure, just one of my spare parts. I'm doing this really just to see the surface finish uh, and how it comes out. So uh, bear with me, we'll hook it up to the air compressor quick. It says to use 90 PSI. Uh, we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. So first impressions for this little guy slash soda blasting, it's, uh, I'm pretty happy with the, with the turnout. One thing I recommend though, either doing a big clear open space or somewhere with a really good vent because this sure makes one heck of a large mess. So as far as a little experiment goes, I'd say it was a success. I mean, it only used about a hopper and a half of baking soda, which is really nothing. And um, for spending only a couple minutes, I think it looks pretty good. Another added benefit I heard about baking soda over using a glass bead is that when you go to put your, your curb housing in, in an ultrasonic cleaner or, or bathe it in some sort of solution afterwards, it's a lot easier to get clean because the baking soda will just dissolve in, in the solvent. I have a carburetor, a spare carb body out of an H2 that I did with glass bead not too long ago. The surface finishes are, are pretty evident. Um, in my opinion, I'd say that the, the soda blast has more of a, an original uh, factory look. It's not very abrasive at all and still leaves a lot of, like I say, the original uh, imperfections from, from casting the car body. Whereas the sand, or sorry, the glass media definitely gives a lot more metallic finish. You can see how it's affected the surface finish. Uh, maybe giving a bit more of a uniform finish, but also taking away some of the original look. But you can see there, there's a lot more sheen with the glass bead compared to the, uh, the soda. I guess at the end of the day, it all comes down to what you have at your disposal, what look you're going for, and maybe just how much work you want to put into it. Uh, like I said before, I'll let you guys be the judge on what it is you want to do. Uh, but hopefully this helps you guys and uh, answer some questions for you. Alright, till next time, ride safe.